welcome to the Love Jones Show. We gon' talk to me, get into it, so make sure you stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Wow. Hey, love bugs. <laughs> hey, love bugs. What's up? It's your girl. <laughs> So I hope that y'all having a good morning, noon, night, whenever this video may reach you, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that, you know, and the notification bell. So when I upload, you will get that ding, 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 your girl got a new video out. So I, I had to remove the video subscribe. because of copyright claims. You know, uh. <laughs> they going on a day. He like, oh, she got a lot of things planned for me. He always makes it a point to mention that she's doing things for him. And because I feel like deep down inside, he don't want to come across like a trick. Because if you're a man of a particular age and you with a girl that's in her early to mid 20s, what you think y'all really doing together? She can love you. Don't get me wrong. But uh as she stated when they had broke up publicly like a few months back like he has a lot of issues he's like damaged goods to some degree because every relationship he gets into it fails and he's always crying and blaming the woman and never takes accountability like a lot of men's these days they don't ever it's just like you ain't just do nothing to contribute to the demise of any of these relationships like just nothing you just perfect he also recently um, posted a video of his ex-wife like falling down on some rocks or something. <laughs> what in the hell does this man have going on? Y'all know that I always have a message to my madness when I'm doing commentary on these videos. So I wanted to point out the fact that I personally believe that Tyrese is very toxic. And I believe that this relationship that he's in right now is very toxic. So a toxic person means that they're very um harmful or unpleasant and they're prone to like negative behaviors so that's what toxic means i just wanted to give y'all a definition because everybody's always talking about things are toxic i got a song out called toxic <laughs> y'all need to check that out it's on spotify you know on all streaming platforms under the name bro jones you know just check this little shameless plug but is it really because this is my video on my channel anyways so the caption he was uh saying things like oh um our relationship is um dysfunctional and weird and i love it here that's basically what he was saying and he was also like oh could we have um an argument so we can have makeup sex and i'm just like yo this is so toxic like it is so toxic first and foremost to publicly say that it's dysfunctional and weird and you're kind of praising that we are in a culture where it's like praise to be dysfunctional weird and toxic and it's unfortunate because a lot of us thrive in toxicity. Like, we love going to the ghetto toxic circus. Like, we love being at Red Flags Park, getting back on that ride over and over and over again. Because it's, it's really glorified to a degree. And a lot of us thrive in toxicity because that's how we grew up. A lot of us don't really know what a healthy relationship looks like. And it's it's so unfortunate because... It, it, God, I, I'm, this video is not about Krishan and Blueface, but I'm just going to throw that in there. Like, you see how toxic they are, and they're actually exploiting their toxicity for fame and for notoriety and for money. Like, literally, I just saw a video of Blueface posting Krishan throwing up. Like, she's just drunk out of her mind. And I'm like, this is so toxic, and it's really disturbing that this is what's being glorified today. Like, even Tyrese posting that and leaving that caption and saying, can we argue to her? Makeup sex is an illusion. You don't need to argue or be angry at someone to have passionate, thoughtful, you know, like, just thrilling. Oh, God, I'm just getting flashbacks. But, like, <laughs> you don't need to be angry at someone to have intense intimacy and intense sexual experiences. These are things that we make up in our minds because we want to be like oh well we gonna argue just so we can have makeup sex and this and that and we just excuse our toxic behavior we excuse the fact that we're all walking around with mental illness almost a lot of us are emotionally distressed a lot of us have so much trauma so much unhealed wounds and because we don't we it's glorified and people make statements like Tyrese which is very like what are we doing dude you know like we need to stop glorifying toxic behaviors. That's just basically all I want to come on here and say to y'all because when I saw this and I and it just made me think about him crying on the internet and like I said early on, he does not take any accountability and this girl is young and he's like, oh, 
oh, I think nobody don't want to settle down. It's like, what are you, like, you trying to make a wife out of somebody that she's young. She still want to be outside. She's like, what, 24? Like, that girl want to be outside. She want to show that ass off, that, that, the augmented. She wants to be outside. And I... <laughs> We just need to really stop thriving in toxicity. We really need to get to the root of why it is that we think it's okay to be in dysfunctional relationships. It stems mostly from the relationships that you have with your parents, mostly from the relationship that you have with your mama. We all think, like, especially for women, it's always oh, daddy issues. No, it's mommy issues. That's a story for another day. And my therapist, she always be like, well, how does this relationship serve you? Toxic relationships serves people because people feel like they don't know how to function in normal, healthy relationships because that's not what they're used to. So let me know what y'all think. Do y'all feel like Tyrese is toxic? Do you think that um, we need to really work on ourselves? Do you feel like toxic behavior and toxic traits is glorified in the media, especially with the likeness of us? Are you toxic? Like, what are your toxic traits? I'm going to come back and do another video on, like, you know, toxic traits and how to spot a toxic person. Um, and let me know who else, anything else that you would like for me to talk about and touch on. So like, comment, subscribe, spread love is the Brooklyn way and get help if you feel like you need it. Ain't, ain't, ain't no shame in having a therapist. Sometimes you need a sounding board. Okay. I love y'all.